time. Most definitely. <laughs> How do you stay locked in in situations like that? Because it's obviously a testament to your talent and what you're doing out there, but how do you stay locked in, man? I mean, it's clearly especially when you're playing corner, man, you got to stay locked in every play, every drive. Because you never know when that ball is going to come your way, man. You got to be on your P's and Q's. And, um, yeah, it was, you know, even though I didn't get targeted, it was just still fun to be in at Notre Dame and playing that environment and playing with my bros. At what point do you notice that it's not, it's more of like a play that Notre Dame is the one to kind of avoid you versus yeah. uh, just as much as what you're doing? Can you say that one more time, please? When do you notice that a team is clearly avoiding your style of the team? At what point in the game did you notice that? Uh, second quarter. Mm -hmm. I know they targeted me one time on like a little five yard slant. Mm -hmm. and that was it after that. I remember Sam telling me, now I'm in the player, but I don't even care about that. But <laughs> that was it, though, man. That's a testament to what you've talked about all year, right? Though, about yeah. your, your approach this offseason and kind of getting back to how you want to play, that the teams aren't coming after you. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, I want them to come at me, man. I want production. And, uh, you know, I want to, you know, have fun at the same time, you know, be able to make plays on the ball, you know, make the crowd go crazy. Are and, you uh, are you expecting that to happen this week? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, they got, we got a good team this weekend. Um, really expecting some playoffs this weekend. You know, hopefully they throw my way, man. Is this the best pa pass attack you guys have seen? Yeah, best, yes. Besides best in Kentucky, this is probably going to be the best one. What is it about this offense that stands out to you? Um, their quarterback, um, he can extend plays. He throws the ball on the rope. He's a great player. Um, receivers are solid. And I'm just ready to go out there and really just have fun and do what I know I can do. You it's mentioned his ability to extend plays. What kind of challenges does that present to your secondary maybe over the points too? Main thing, just plaster when he extends, when he's out of the pocket. Um, just covering your guy and just dominating anybody who's in front of me. Is Davis the most physical corner you've ever He's probably the only corner I've ever seen who actually runs to the contact. Like you'll see, like a whole, like a pile of the guys on the ball carrier, and he probably the last guy just jumping in there. Or something. What does that attitude give? It seems like he almost like a spark plug. Yeah, that? I guess you could say that. Um, he brings a lot of energy to the group, man. I'm glad we brought him in, and um, he's helping us bring BIA back. You're right. Nah, I man, that's his nature, man. That's him. So I'm gonna just let him be him, and if he's doing what he's doing, it's good. <laughs> when you talk about that level, like bringing BIA back, right? Like, what does that mean? What's the level, the standard that you guys need to play at to feel like you're doing that? No explosive plays, dominating the guy in front of you, um, doing your job, being accountable, and making the routine plays routine. Do you know the uh, the longest touchdown you guys have given up this year? Mm, might have seen that. What was it, like 30? It's two yards. Two yards? Wow. It's awesome. You seem not impressed. I mean, not for real. I'm really not impressed with anything we've done so far. Like, we're trying to win championships, man. Like, it's going to take a lot. You know, it's wide open this year. And um, if we just do what we got to do week in and week out, man, the sky's the limit.